Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is some one variable inequalities. And here's some practice for you to try this on your own. First, I want you to put in set builder notation. Then I want you to put it on a graph. In other words, put it on a number line, and then put it in set interval notation. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, so hopefully you tried it unless you're totally lost and just follow along. So the first one, and what I did was I chose three examples and that will give you a basic overview on how to do each of these. So set builder notation is really just obvious. Use a set, that means you're gonna use braces. So it's gonna be open braces, X, uh, such that or belongs to the inequality uh, x is greater than negative 3. That's pretty much it for set builder notation. It's just that obvious. Uh, to graph, put on number line. Now you could do like 1, 2, 3, 0, and so forth. Usually I just put a 0 in there. And then it's very important I have negative 3. I put positive 3 in there as well. Now you can either use parentheses or brackets or open circle and closed circle. I'm going to use open circle, closed circle. Since this is greater than, that means it's going to be a open circle. And it's going to be an open circle at negative 3. Now what I'm going to do is I need to graph the solution, all possible x values. So that means since this is greater, it's going to be everything above. So it's going to go in this direction. It's like that. And that's how you graph it. Now once you graph it, uh, in rotation it is really just a piece of cake. So if you're having trouble, how do I set up the set, you know, how do I set up set interval notation? Well first graph it and then, okay, you have interval notation. So it's starting at negative three. Now it's an open circle because this is not or equal to. And it's not included. So since it's not included, you're going to use parentheses. So parentheses negative three comma. And look, it's going on forever. It's getting very, very large and positively. So it's going to be a positive infinity. And infinity always has, that's right, parentheses. Never use brackets on infinity. It's always parentheses. Because, well, yeah, you just can't count that high. So anyways, looking at this one, what you should have put if you did try this one on your own, should have gotten the set braces x such that x is less than or equal to 4. Now graph it. Do your little number line thing. Put a 0 in there. I'm just going to put 4. You could put negative 4. You could put other numbers as well. Usually this is all you need. So it's everything uh, less than and including two. So that's going to be a closed circle because it's an or equal to. Whenever it's an or equal to, closed circle. Or in this case, you know, you might see parentheses or in here you'll just use a bracket. So, you know, it's everything less than. So it's going to go less, right? Again, you're graphing the solutions. If you're like, I'm not really sure how to graph it, well, just plug in a number, plug in zero. Is zero less than or equal to four? And the answer is yes. So zero would be a solution. So that tells you where to go as far as your graph is concerned. Now, in a rotation, start from left to right. It's always in order. So this is starting at a very large negative number which would be negative infinity. Again, using the parentheses, 
Always use parentheses with either positive infinity or negative infinity. And it goes to and up to and including that positive 4. So that positive 4 is going to have a bracket. Whenever it's or equal to, bracket. All right, so here, somewhat different, but again, set builder notation is going to be pretty much the same. So open braces, x, and then you just write it out so it's negative 2. I'm going to write it a little small so that it can fit. Just like that, that's it. It's really straightforward. So with the graph, Again, draw your number line and put a zero in there. And now I have negative two and positive five. Now with the negative two, it's less than or equal to. So I know that is gonna be an open circle. Well, sorry, it's not, it's gonna be a closed circle. And the other guy with the five, it's gonna be an open circle because there's no or equal to. And just the way it looks, it's the solution is everything in between, including the negative two. So it's going to look like a, a barbell, just like that. All right? And then that shows you how to do inner rotation. It's going to include the negative two, it's going to start at negative two. And it's going to go up to 5. And it's not going to include the 5. So on the 5, there's a parenthesis. And then on the negative 2, there's a bracket because it's included. And that's pretty much, that's it.